It's about having a coherent style, not about being able to draw like this. I get an incredible variety of people. When I teach college classes, I have art students. When I teach these classes, I see everybody. And I love that. I love that I see the person who's saying, I'm a computer guy, I want to do a comic. And then boom, that's Hicks and Bragg. I first came up with Hicks and Bragg probably uh, five years ago. It's about an artist who forgot his calling and decided to take the low road. I saw him as a guy with a black wraparound mustache. So I started growing a mustache. He's more of physical prowess. So that's why I had to start running oh. every day and train for a marathon. Everything hurts and nothing works. So the theme of this book was I want to do my personal best. I'm trying to see what I can do, like how good I can do. I'm going to make really fucking mind blowing shit when I'm like 70. <laughs> I kind of like put it out there, like ask my couple of really close friends and my parents, hey, what would you think if I moved to Paris next year? And they weren't like, that sounds crazy. Are you sure you thought this through? No, they were like, do it. No, I don't know anybody. I don't really speak French. That's what'll be interesting about it too, is like, as an American artist, can you just show up on their doorstep basically and penetrate that market? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> To me, it's kind of fucking crazy. Let's go back to the independence. 